Okay, welcome back to the Blender Research Laboratory. Today we'll go over Hello World and um, how to integrate Blender and GTK using the PyPid <coughs> um, platform. Um, this is Hello World and it's only uh, 60 lines of code. And um, let's, let's take a look at it. Let's run it. All right, so we have Blender embedded inside um, a GTK window. This is GTK3 C types. C types GTK3. And when I click on Hello World, it's uh, printing in our terminal. Um, we click. So let's look at the code. And um, we're uh, importing everything from Core. Core is <coughs> the generic API for combining Blender and GTK3. So after importing core, we uh, GTK int, and we're going to create an app where we in, uh, inherit from uh, Blender Hack Linux. And down here, so we create the app, and then we run the main loop, that's it. Inside uh, my app, first thing we call is this do WNCK hack. That, um, I won't explain that because that's something that should go away in the future. Then we assert the setup of the Blender hack. This lets, lets us um, run GTK safely inside of Blender's uh, main loop um, iteration. Um, again, this is a hack because uh, hopefully this will change in the future when Blender, Blender's native API supports um, integrating with a different main loop. And then this is, if you're familiar with PyGTK, this is all standard PyGTK stuff, GTK window, uh, set the title, give it a VBox. Um, that's what gives us the, the vertical the vertical split. This is the vertical split between Hello World and, and Blender. So we created a frame. That's the frame that we see around the button. Border with button name, Hello World. On, on uh, connect to the uh, click event and passing uh, the, the method here that this is what happens when you click. And we put Blender in a container, the GTK event box, and we create a Blender X embed socket. That this is just a function that uh, does all sets up all of the GDK socket um, X embed um, things for us. We add it, we show the window, and then at the end we actually do the X embedding. So this this must come last as it's labeled. All right, so I'll show what what happens if we change um, V box to H box. So if we just change that to an H. We're going to get a horizontal um, stat, uh, a split now. So here now the hello world is on the left hand side. <coughs> All right, let's take a look at a drag and drop example. So. There's hello world dash dmd, so it's almost the same 
as Hello World. It's only 75 lines of code. And the, uh, the difference here is we are, let's see, it's, there's this D and D special object called D and D. Slightly different from the Pi GTK 2 uh, API for doing drag and drop, it, it just wraps, just wraps all of that and makes it easier. Let's run it. Okay, so if we drag this button and then drop it anywhere in the Blender window, it's going to print out um, all of this, all of this here, and that is just this function on drop being called. Um, <coughs> the uh, make explanation and extra argument is here, so. That gets passed to here, extra argument. D and D source object and source arg. That um, here when we when we're calling make source on the button where we can pass any number of objects to make source. First we pass the, the object for making a drag source and then follows the extra argument here. And the same thing, it works similarly here, the connect and then drag drop and pass the function and then you can pass any number of extra arguments here and then you have to list them here. Let's go ahead and um, <coughs> add some more arguments. Let's add uh, Here, and that again. So when I drag and drop this, you can see the last thing printed another arg is another argument. So that's uh, that's how you set up two-way communication between something you're dragging from and then dropping onto. Normally you'd be passing uh, Blender objects here or some other some other context. Let's go into the core because this is, you can see here on this slide that we are importing from, from core and that's where Blender Hack uh, Linux is defined. So in core, we have, uh, core is pretty big now, you know, so less than a thousand lines. We import uh, bpy, mass details, C types, threading, GPK3, Blender is a special wrap C types wrapper around the Blender C API. Um, this, this the C API lets us directly control Blender's main loop. And let's see. So down here is the uh, the base class of Blender Hack and the setup blender hack function is here that um, creates a threading lock for us that uh, sometimes we may need to use this for GPK if we're going to use if we're going to thread GPK with with other uh, C libraries 
and we 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 attach a uh, callback <coughs> to the region that every time the uh, the view 3D window is redrawn, it's going to call our um, our our special function sync context defined here. It's going to copy the Blender context so that it can be used outside of Blender's main loop and then lock lock the thread, iterate ETK, and release, release the, the, uh, the lock. Um, if we look here in the main loop, all that we have going on in the main loop is calling update Blender and GTK. And if we look here in core, this is this is um, all that um, that that is doing. It's um, forcing a redraw on the 3D view, the tag redraw here. And let's see, it also forces a redraw. Um, actually, this is a, it forces a redraw on two different views. If you if you have two multiple vendor windows embedded, it also forces a redraw on the image editor because we have some special hacks for image baking that they only operate within the image editor context. And um, we we call the the C types uh, blender function here blender iterate. And I'll show you that in a second. And this at the end just makes sure that GTK gets updated. This unsafely updates GTK just in case. So let's look at the C types. Uh, wrapper to Blender's uh, C API. And uh, this is actually a front end to the full wrapper. The full wrapper is 20,000 lines of code that's automatically generated by uh, our Pythonic. This, uh, this just um, gets into that wrapper and does just what we needed to. So blend. Okay, here. Here's the iterate function that's getting called. Uh, getting called by here in the update Blender NGTK, which and hello world from the main loop we're calling update Blender NGTK. So to really iterate Blender. Blender's main loop just boils down to four function calls. There's WM window process events, WM uh, event do handlers, WM event do notifiers, and then finally uh, WM draw update C. This capital C is in the Blender context, and that. If you look at Blender source code, you can see in the window um, uh, name loop that it really is just calling these four functions. So what we're doing is uh, we're bypassing Blender's main loop and iterating it ourselves. So that's uh, that's uh, fully a full explanation of, of um, the this core API and how to use it 